These conclusions were well established for choices about gambles and sure things in the domain of money. The disease problem shows that the same rule applies when the outcomes are measured in lives saved or lost. In this context as well, the framing experiment reveals that risk-averse and risk-seeking preferences are not reality-bound. Preferences between the same objective outcomes reverse with different formulations. An experience that Amos shared with me adds a grim note to the story. Amos was invited to give a speech to a group of public health professionals, the people who make decisions about vaccines and other programs. He took the opportunity to present them with the Asian disease problem. Half saw the lives saved version, the others answered the lives lost question. Like other people, these professionals were susceptible to the framing effects. It is somewhat worrying that the officials who make decisions that affect everyone's health can be swayed by such a superficial manipulation. But we must get used to the idea that even important decisions are influenced, if not governed, by System 1.